Welcome. This video is the continuation of another video. In the previous video I explained how to do a simulation using Tinkercad, but the circuit was not the right one. In this video I will show you how to make an assembly for the same purpose, but with the necessary protection for the components. So we go to the components tab and on the search bar we search for a relay because for the next assembly we will need a relay where the switching voltage across the coil is 5 volts. So I'm going to choose this black relay. Place it on the mounting zone. Now we're gonna search for a, a battery. I will use a 9 volt battery because it's simple, everyone has. And now let me explain about the relay. The relay is an electronic component that allows you to control one circuit through another circuit by isolating one from the other. Basically, it has a coil that, if energized, creates a magnetic field that closes or opens a contact on another circuit. Then, by applying a voltage of 5 volts on a coil, we can turn on and off another circuit. In this case, depending on the connections we make, we will turn on and turn off our motor. In order to measure the amperage, we connect the Arduino ground to a terminal of the multimeter. Then, we connect the pin 13 to any side of the relay coil. The other side of the relay coil goes to the ground, but uh, we will go through the multimeter to be able to measure the amperage. We already have the control circuit done, so now we need to connect the circuit that we will control. For that, we connect the battery positive to a common relay contact. We connect the negative to one of the motor terminals. Then the other terminal of the motor goes to a contact of the relay. The relay will behave according to the voltage applied to the coil. If we apply 5 volts, the contact will close, then the motor will start. Because the code is the same as before, we can start the simulation and as you can see, the amperage goes only to 27.6 milliamps. Even if a load is now applied to the motor, the current at the pin 13 does not change because the circuit is isolated. In the simulation, it is possible to see the contact of the relay closing and opening. The 5 volts of the 13 pin are only used to energize the relay coil. The motor uses the 9 volt battery power, but we can still add an extra component to protect our Arduino. That component is a diode. We are going to connect this component in parallel with the relay coil. The diode is an electrical component that only allows the current to pass in one direction. 
I am going to use a diode because when you apply a voltage to a coil it creates a magnetic field. When you remove the voltage from the coil the magnetic field collapses and creates a reverse polarity voltage and can be many times the value of the original applied voltage. We use the diode to conduct the reverse polarity voltage and creates a short circuit across the coil that allows the pulse to be dissipated in the resistance of the coil. These simulations are automatically recorded on the website with a random name, but if you if you want you can go to properties and change the name. This is the same circuit. This is not a 9 volt battery but does the same job and as you can see it is working fine. If I disconnect the motor you can clearly listen the relay switching on off. That's it. Hasta.